What a great Hell in a Cell pay-per-view. Awesome. It was just awesome. Yeah. Get myself pumped up. I would told... Good thing I didn't be a paid... But, no. This is Hell in a Cell 2011 review. No. Thank goodness I didn't have to pay my money for this pay-per-view. Well, thank goodness I just had to watch it on Facebook. Hell in a Cell 2009 review. No, not 2009, 2011. I'm going to give them some suggestions. Don't, like, Hell in a Cell 2010 was good because they had matches built from way Barrett and Cena were built from the first night they came on the scene till then. And then they got built further, of course. Um, Undertaker and Kane was built for, like, the whole, Kane's whole career, really. Um... It was it wait and we Sheamus and Randy Orton was built since pretty much the beginning of the 2010. Uh, let me think. I, I think there was another match that was built up pretty good. Um, but this pay per view, Matt, the, like the matches weren't good. Like I'm gonna actually, I'll actually tell you when I get there, actually. So first match of the night is Christian versus Sheamus. Now. On SmackDown and Raw, they've had pretty good matches. But tonight, it just seemed like there was something off about them. Um, you, but by the way, I should mention that you get Jim Ross, Michael Cole, and Booker T um, on commentary. I was like, wait, isn't Jerry the King Lawler there? But, I, but then they reminded me that Mark Henry had assaulted Jerry the King Lawler. Um, but then we get... Um, this match, yeah, like I said, it, it just seemed like they didn't gel well together. I should mention that this match lasted 13 minutes and 40 seconds. But nothing really special about this match. It was probably one of those matches that you would see on TV. Um, we get Sheamus winning the match by the blow kick. Um, then we get Sin Cara versus Sin Cara. Also known as Sin Cara Azul versus Sin Cara Negro. But they, and this match was 9 minutes and 44 seconds. Um, this match was pretty good. was actually not pretty good. It was awesome. I really liked this match. We had, um, it started out with grappling moves. Um, then Sin Cara did a um, big arm drag and then a high flying move outside the ring. Um, then he goes for a moonsault and Sin Cara Negro counters. Um, there were some botches in the match, I, I should say, but it was still good. Um, like when Sin Cara went to do that elbow move that he usually does, and Sin Cara Negro, and the black Sin Cara, Sin Cara Negro, I would just say, um, drop kick some and he completely misses him. Um, then Sin Cara, um, gets, I guess, gets like back drop and he gets land on his feet. Um, then Sin Cara Azul. Takes Sin Cara outside the ring. Does a high flying move out there. Sin Cara Negro also did a high flying move before that happened. Um, then we get Sin Cara Azul doing an arm drag off the top rope. Sin Cara Negro doing a power bomb. We kind of how he went into a power bomb. Um, Sin Cara Azul goes for the uh, Swanton. Misses. Lands on his feet. Um, Sin Cara Azul Negro goes for the power bomb, and then Sin Cara Azul counters into a roll up and wins the match. Good match. Um, they did the feud would continue after, and if you haven't seen my best of all on SmackDown DVD, you'll see how it ends. Let me get Air Boom defending the tag, which is Kofi Kingston in our truth, defending the WWE Tag Team Championships against Dolph Ziggler and Jack Swagger. This match lasted 11 minutes and 16 seconds. At the now, like if I was watching this match now, and there was still a team, I would be fine with it. But this match wasn't... This team had just formed, and then they already are in a tag team feud. And they hated each other at first. So, like, you can say, oh, Kane and Brian hate each other, though. But they can work together as a team. They were built up to work together as a team. But they weren't really built up. They were just arguing about who got Dickie Guerrero got to be the um, consultant, like the client of Dickie Guerrero. Um, then they just decide to have him be put into a tag team. Why not just do it differently? Like you could have just done it, not not have it done it at all, not happening at all. Isn't it? Just have them team up, build them up as a team, and then yeah. But no, you just had yeah. But then um. 
Kofi, I will, and I didn't really care for the finish really either. Either Evan Bourne gets her, her, give, he pins Jack Swagger by Hurricane off the top rope, and that was it. Um, nothing special about this match. There was nothing special at all. The next match is. Oh, not this match. Mark Henry defending the World Heavyweight Championship against Randy Orton um, in a Hell in a Cell match. This match lasted 15 minutes and 58 seconds. No. Just no. This match was fucking shit. Actually, it wasn't shit. It wasn't shit. It was poor shit. It was uh, pretty much every shit mixed together. Um, no. This match wasn't even really Hell in a Cell. It was just... It was more of a Hell in a Cell match than the uh, five-man match they did in the dark match when they were just stomping. At least they used the Cell. But they didn't use weapons. They didn't use... um The only weapon I think they used, but they failed, was the steps. That's it. Um, Maybe the post, if you count that as a weapon. Um, No. It was... Shit. I was bored probably the first five seconds I watched... No. No. The first eight... Two minutes that I watched this match. I was bored. This wasn't even watchable. Mark Henry wins off the world's strongest slam. But then what happens? Um, he leaves. Gets a chair. And he loses to do that. And he gives Randy Orton another world's strongest slam. Um, puts the chair on Randy Orton's ankle. Like, ankle. And he tries to do, take him out like he took out Big Show, Kane, um... Vladimir Kozlov, I guess the great colleagues, I don't, um, and, um, who else, what, what's his name, I think that's it, um, but yeah, um, he goes to do that to Randy Orton, he misses, Randy Orton hulks up, like his ribs aren't even hurt, hits Mark Henry with the chair, and he's fine, and, and, until Mark Henry kicks him in the ribs, um, but Big Show and Kane have to sit there and take it because they get World's Strongest Slam. Big Show gets World's Strongest Slam twice and he has to take it. Great Carly, okay, Great Carly and Kozlov, but Kane had to take it and he's supposed to be a monster. Randy Orton is just a human. He's maybe, maybe they call him the Viper, but if that happened to a real Viper, I think the Viper would be dead. Um... And the White Viper would have taken the chair shot. But nope. you got to be Super Orton. Super Orton. Super Orton. This is why I didn't like him back then. At least he's not like this anymore. Then we get... Um, Cody Rhodes unveiling the Intercontinental Championship. It's like that belt you see now. Um, then we get a... Then I guess they make a... I, I didn't see the actual video on YouTube. I just saw the math of Cody Rhodes defending the Intercontinental Championship against John Morrison, and the match was 7 minutes and 20 seconds. And he had to do it in street clothes. I think this was just to fill time on the pay-per-view. Cody Rhodes just ends up... The only thing that made this match was Michael Cole pretty much trash in the match. Because um, Cody Rhodes had to compete. That was really what made this match. Then Cody... Morrison most for the... That kick he does off the ropes, I don't know what it's called, and Cody Rhodes pins him for the victory and retains the championship. Um, then we get... Beth Phoenix with, no wait, Kelly Kelly with Eve Torres defending the Women's Championship against Beth Phoenix with Natalia. For the, and um, this match lasted, um, I don't know, I'm getting this off Wikipedia so this might not be exact, but this match lasted 8 minutes and 31 seconds. Um, this match was okay, but I didn't care for the finish. Um, Beth, Natal Beth Phoenix has her and Kelly Kelly in a submission hold. And Natalia's talking to the mic saying, Scream Kelly, Scream Kelly, Scream Kelly. Um, then the, the, he gets off her, and Beth Phoenix hits Kelly. No, no. Natalia hits Beth. No. Natalia hits Kelly Kelly with the microphone. And um, wouldn't the referee hear the microphone? I even thought this then. Um, but wouldn't the referee hear it, though? Like, wouldn't the referee hear the microphone hit her head? But then Beth Phoenix gets the glam stand and wins. This, this, no. No. Um, then we get the main event. John Cena defending the WWE Championship against CM Punk and Alberto Del Rio 
um, in a Hell in a Cell match, and this last ma match lasted 25 minutes and 3 seconds. Ma match of the night, match of the night, um, Punk, Del Rio pushes Punk into the Hell in a Cell, um, Del Rio hits Punk with chair, Del Rio looked like, I'm gonna say that Del Rio looked like, looked very strong in this match, he looked awesome in this match. He, he pretty much dominated. Nated the whole match, but Cena and Del Rio, but Cena and Punk did get some flurries. Like Cena hit the FU on uh, Punk. Punk hit the go to sleep, but then Del Rio hit the, hit them with chairs. He even um, sandwiched Punk in a chair, and um, Del Rio went off the ropes and went on to Punk um, because Punk and because there was like a, sh a chair in between Punk and Cena, so that was cool. Um, then um, what happened is Cena gets a. Uh, Del Rio and, and Punk goes through a table in this match because he gets pushed off whoops when he uses, goes to do an elbow to Cena. Then Del Rio, Cena gets Del Rio in the STFU. Ricardo Rodriguez knocks out the ref and gets the key. Um, Cena FUs Ricardo Rodriguez and he has a and he puts a pipe with them. Del Rio hits Cena off the ropes with the pipe, gets locks the cell and he throws the key underneath the ring. Um, then Del Rio and Punk. And then Cena gets locked out, which I thought was awesome. Um, then uh, Cena realizes it, tries to get get the key, but can't. Del Rio hits Punk um, off the head with a pipe and wins the match. Then we get Miz um, and Truth come in, because I guess they've been running rough shot on there um, all night long. Um, and they attack everyone. Um, everyone um, tries to get in the cell, but they can't because the key's in there. Um, they get bolt cutters and... Um, they get arrested, Triple H attacks them, because it's back to Triple H with CLO and Miz and Truth were fired. Um, then the, the show ends. Um, believe it or not, when Miz and Truth attacked, um, attacked everyone, that was the highlight at the pay-per-view. Um, and the Sin Cara and Sin Cara match was decent, the Hell in a Cell match was decent, but other than that, this whole pay-per-view was shit. Um, I did not like it one bit. This what you can just... Just, just read that right there. Um, if you ever want to watch this pay-per-view, don't. Because it was shit. It, don't buy this pay-per-view. Go on Facebook and watch it. I will send it to you on YouTube if you need me to. Because I do want, not want you wasting your money on this shit. Um, I'm glad I didn't have to waste my money on this shit. I actually didn't even want to watch the pay-per-view. When it was actually come on, I'm like, wait, the matches don't look good. It's just two weeks build. Two weeks build is the worst thing you can ever do for a pay per view. At least now that they're not doing that, just no, don't do it. Um, but that's pretty much my thoughts on how in a cell 2011. Um, probably the worst how in a cell ever. Um, just no, stop, stop it. Um, now I'm going to um, go back and watch Undertaker vs. Triple H at, from Wrestlemania this year. Um, and how in a cell, which should be awesome. So that, but that's pretty much it, guys. Um, subscribe to this channel if you haven't. Like the videos. Comment on the videos. Um, favorite the videos. Um, like this page on, on my Facebook. But first, you're going to add me as a friend on Facebook. Um, then you gotta follow me on Twitter if you want. Then you can subscribe to Owen the Talkinator, and you can like those videos and favorite them, and you can comment on them. Then you can, uh, while you're at it, you can subscribe to CM Brothers 5898, and you can like the videos, you can comment on the videos, and you can subscribe to them. Then, while you're at it, you can add Adam as a friend on Facebook, and you can like, um, CM Brothers and Owen the Talkinator, um, on Facebook. So that's pretty much it guys. Peace out.